and welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today I wanted to show you some of the fall color in the garden right now. The This is the blueberries and there's two of them that really out, were outstanding for color. This one here still has a lot of leaves on it. That's the, the Chandler blueberry. And then the one next to it only has a few leaves left, um, but they were really colorful too. That's the Patriot. And this one over here I'll have to look and see which one that is, but it's got some nice color as well. So let's go into the front yard now and see what we have going on there. It's been really windy, so we have a trash can over here. That should be over there. So first we see a huge Japanese maple. That one has some really nice color. It started dropping leaves, but there's still a lot, a lot of leaves on the, the tree. And then up here against the garage, we have a Japanese duarsha. And it gets some small white flowers. You can see the flower balls here, but it's got some really nice fall color as well, a lot of yellows and reds. And then we have an, a dwarf Japanese maple, kind of a, I think it's a lace leaf variety. Um, it's dropped most of its leaves as you can see down here, but it was really nice colored as well. Just lots of pretty much dead leaves just on top that I probably need to just rake off. Now let's go on to the side of the house. And I'll show you another Japanese maple. There was a lot more leaves on here yesterday than there was today. But it was a really bright red. And that's also a lace leaf variety. I think it's a different variety than the other one. But it gets really bright, bright red leaves. It looks like they're pretty much all fallen off and I just need to rake those off of the, the bush as well. All right, let's check out some other stuff. Over here we have a smoke bush. So its leaves also turn um, a little bit red and yellow and purple, lots of different colors in there. We still have some calendula growing. And I just found out this year that this is a beech tree. And from what I understand, they get really tall. I did not plant this. And really, we didn't plant any of the trees on the property. These were all here when, when we moved in. But I was told by one of the landscapers that this is a beech tree. So we may be pulling this out if it gets too much bigger. But it's got some really nice yellow fall color. The previous owners really like Japanese maples because they're all over the property. So here's another one. It's a nice compact tree and I don't think it gets very tall but it still has most of its leaves but they were really pretty Kind of a dark, darkish red color. Really nice. And then we've got a few trees back here showing a little bit of color as well. I'm not really sure what a lot of this stuff is. I think this might be some, possibly a Pieris, maybe. Um, but that one's got some nice color as well. And I don't think there's much else back here. There's a lot of bushes and trees, but I think not as colorful. This one has a, I think this is a nine bark. This has a deep, um, dark color all year round, but it should, I think, lose its leaves, but I don't think they'll change a color. And we also have this one. It's already lost most of its leaves. And let me check real quick what it is. So that's what it is there, 
Haggai Greg Golden. I'm glad they left some tags on some of these things, or else I would never know what they were. And then we have some hydrangeas, and those should be dropping its leaves here before too long. And we also have another tree here. Actually, that's got some nice colored leaves, really big yellow and pinks. And this one, we actually transplanted this one from the front yard to the backyard. I mean, the backyard to the front yard. And this is a Circe's forest pansy. So it's grown a lot since we moved it to the front yard. But I really like this, the shape of this one. And I think that might be another maple of some type. And it's got some nice yellow golden leaves. And we have another hydrangea. This one has really large blooms that are kind of cone shaped that are pretty cool. But they are start out white and then they turn this pink color. Alright, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.